All right, give me just a few minutes and we will kick off our weeknight motivation. About two more minutes to go and we'll get started. All right, let me do a sound check. All right, sound check sounds good. Facebook is ready to go. About a minute to go, and we will kick off our Monday. All right, in about another 30 seconds and we will get started. So for those of you who are jumping on, this week is Purim week. So this is the week you can kind of let your hair down and dress up. This is costume week. So each day I will change it up, but today I'm just going to keep it simple. Got the glasses and the hoodie on, but the hoodie is going to come off here soon. Welcome, Joy. Thanks for joining. All right, it is seven o'clock. Let's go ahead and get started. And I am Rabbi Yak, located outside San Francisco. So, welcome, Mouth Pagers. It is seven o'clock. Let's go ahead and get started. Shalom and Yom Shini. Happy Monday. Hope everyone has had a great day and a great weekend. So I'd like to kick off our week. This is Purim week. Purim is actually starting this weekend. So it starts on Saturday and ends on Sunday. But I figured, you know, since I don't do services on the weekend, why not start dressing up this week? So just kind of a little touch. Tomorrow I might throw something a little different. But it is the week of Purim, which is the, the holiday of festivals and celebrations and costumes. All right. So hope everyone has had a great day and a great weekend. Mouthpage is an online spiritual community. We are an online Jewish synagogue. Every Monday through Thursday we do our live weeknight motivations. Every Friday is our Shabbat service live at 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific time. So thank you, everyone who's been watching us and following us on Facebook. We are so, we are, oh, not so close. We are now over 5,000, 5,000 followers, like people who liked us on Facebook. So our community, I appreciate it so much. We are growing. Our community is growing. We have just passed 5,000. We have been going live now for 11 weeks and we are over 5,000 diehard mouth pagers. So thank you so much. I hope you find our community a place where you can grow spiritually. Our Facebook page and our YouTube channel and our website is a great way to really, really help spread our love and our joy and our kindness throughout our community. So thank you. Thank you so much. So please continue to help us grow our community worldwide. The more people we can connect with, the more people we can help grow spiritually. So, thank you. So, let's go ahead and get started on our week nine motivation. So, like to start off with uh, Psalm one fifty six. Let all that breathes praise God. Hallelujah. Let all that breathes praise God. Hallelujah. In Hebrew. Kohanishamah Teherah Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. All right, let's go ahead and 
get started on our motivation. So last week we discussed David and Goliath. So this week is Purim week. Purim week. So what is Purim? So, you know, since it's all week long, we are, <laughs> Marty said, scary to my glasses. You must have missed the hood then. See, I had the hood on earlier. Hey, Marty. Hi, Mary. Thanks for joining. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right. So, let me go ahead and, uh, for those of you who might not know what Purim is, let me give you the, the nickel tour of what Purim is. So, Purim is about the book of Esther. It commemorates the salvation of the Jewish people in ancient Persia from Haman's plot to destroy and kill all the Jews. Esther, to sum it up, to summarize it, basically stopped Haman from killing all the Jews. So I will elaborate more and more each each day on, on that. That's kind of that in a nutshell, right? But why is the Purim holiday the holiday that everyone wants to sell, uh, dress up in costumes? Why is this the holiday that is different than all the other ones? Because we don't dress up for Hanukkah. We don't dress up for Passover. But why do we dress up for, for Purim? Purim is not just about the book of Esther. It is about us. Purim is a holiday about us. It is about the growth of the Jewish people who took the Torah and took ownership of it. And it's a time for celebration. You know, so many holidays the Jews celebrate and they honor the holiday. But this is a holiday where they let their hair down. This is a holiday where you go crazy. This is the holiday where you really, really have fun and really, and let me rephrase that, not, you really, really just go crazy on this holiday. This is the party holiday. This is the celebration. This is when, this is about us. This is about us. This is about the people. So this is why Jews like to dress up for this holiday. This is the Jewish version of Halloween in a, in a, in a different type of a way. But this is this way that they celebrate, they dress up, everybody like dresses up like princesses and kings and all sorts of cool things. So why do we as people celebrate things? Why? Why do we want to celebrate things, especially with something like this? Why do we want to celebrate? Well, we celebrate for our, with our friends. We want to celebrate with our family. We want to celebrate maybe bringing in a different food group, a different food, something that you want to share, your favorite recipe, your favorite thing that you like to make. Dress up. Maybe not necessarily wear costume. Maybe just dress up and wear a nice jacket. Maybe a fancy dress, a fancy suit, something different. Celebration is also time to relax and recharge the batteries from a hard week, right? Hence the reason why we do our weeknight motivations is to get recharged. Let your hair down a little bit. You know, in my case, <laughs> there's no wig here. This is, this is the hair. But letting it down is a metaphor of letting loose a little bit, shaking it up, making it different. You know, making yourself relax. Life can suck out every ounce of joy if you allow it to. Celebrations are a time to bring that joy back. Get it back. All that life that got sucked out, let's go. Let's bring it back. Whether it's something just small, like you got an A on a paper, or you did something nice for someone, or you scored a winning touchdown, or a winning score, or you just did something nice for someone. Celebration. It's a time to celebrate, right? Take time to celebrate. Even like birthdays. Birthdays are a huge opportunity to celebrate with your friends and family. Purim is a time to celebrate. This is a time where you invite your friends over. This is where you eat 
different types of foods. This is a very big holiday for, for Jews to eat hamantashen. So if you got any hamantashen, go out and get some, right? <laughs> but this is a huge opportunity to celebrate. Anytime you can find a way, reason to celebrate, do so. Because you have to enjoy life. So in light of celebration, tonight's word to take away is celebrate. God's my joy. So let's celebrate. Time to celebrate. So C, cherish joyous moments with everyone you can. Cherish those moments. Cherish those moments. Enjoy. When people come over to the house, you're hugging, you're shaking their hands, you're got the music on, you're dancing, you're enjoying, right? Cherish those moments. E, even God wants us to take time to relax, take a day off, take a time to celebrate. L, listen to God and you will have plenty to celebrate. E, endless amounts of prayer will help you enjoy life more. B, be a better you than ever before. When you celebrate, it, re, it will reignite you. It will give you a chance to, to breathe and look back at all the stress that happened throughout the week or the month or whatever, and you get a chance to revamp, recharge. Be a better you. R, remember, God wants us to have joy, so have it. The devil doesn't. The devil wants to take joy out of your life. God wants us to have joy. Because when you have joy, you want it again, and you want it again. It's addicting. Joy is addicting, and that's fine. Joy is addicting. You can be addicted to joy. Joy is addicting. A, allow fun to be part of your life. Allow it. We work so much. Allow fun to be part of your life. We have school. We have activities. There's so many things that are part of our lives. Allow fun to be part of your life. T, Technology, yeah, throw in technology in there, huh? Why? Technology should be your way to keep in touch with friends and family from afar. Hence, social media, right? You could reach people from millions of miles away. Utilize it to your advantage to enjoy each other. Fun, right? Celebration. N E. Enthusiasm. Enthusiasm will help others to be nice. I like that one because, again, your enthusiasm when people come over or you go over to celebrate something like a birthday, enthusiasm. It's your time. It's that celebration time. If you know, if it's their birthday, say happy birthday in, a, in an enthusiastic way. It's their day and celebrate it with them. So before we end tonight's motivation, I'd like to close with prayers and birthday wishes. Again, happy Purim or Chag Sameach. Happy holidays, Purim week. Get excited. If Purim's right around the, if Purim is right around the corner, that means Passover is even, even right around the corner again. Even, that doesn't make much sense. But it's right around the corner also. Lots and lots to celebrate. Lots of food to up and coming. So let's enjoy. Let's help each other to enjoy. So let's go ahead and do our prayers and birthday wishes. So I'd like to pray for Bruce's recovery, uh, Catherine's recovery, uh, Alice's healing and peace, Bill's healing, Ren's healing, Mikey's healing, who's, um, from what I heard, is getting much better, uh, Joanna, who is in the hospital with cancer, uh, Kenny's illness, uh, Mike's up-and-coming surgery, I pray for uh, Sussie's healing and Brad's recovery. Pr also pray for the peace in the world and for people to get along. And happy birthday to Rob and Mario. So let's go ahead and do Numbers 6, 23, 27. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up. Conscious, conscious upon you and give you peace. 
in Hebrew. Yevarechecha Adonai ve'yishem recha, Yair Adonai panav elecha ve'kunecha, Yisa Adonai panav elecha ve'yasim lecha shalom. Amen. So I want to thank all of you for watching tonight. Just so you know, there's my, there you go. All right. <laughs> I saw on the, on the live chat, somebody said scary. So I just want you to know I'm still here. I'm still here. Rabbi Yak, still here. All right. Just wanted to enjoy a little Purim week. So like I said, just a little here, a little, a little each day. So thank you so much for watching tonight. Don't forget to check us out all week, Monday through Thursday live on Facebook or on our website, 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific Time, and Fridays are Shabbat service, 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Please check out our website, www.mouthpage.com. We also have all of our videos archived on Facebook, on our website, and on our YouTube channel, Mouthpage Spiritual Community. So please tell your friends and family, like us and follow us on Facebook, Mouthpage Spiritual Community, and send us a prayer request if you, if uh, please send us a prayer request via email or on Facebook. Mouthpage is a nonprofit organization, so please feel free to help us out. Donate whenever you can or whatever you can. We really, really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you so much for watching, and have a wonderful, wonderful night and a wonderful week. I want to wish all of you a happy week. Remember, help others to be nice. God bless. Lila Tov. Love you. Amen. Hello. Ah. <laughs>